I would be lying to you guys if I never told you I've been obsessed with Hytale over the last 24 hours. Now, whenever I check out something new on the channel, I always get people concerned in the comments section like, Oh my days, he's quit Minecraft. Hytale has taken over. Guys, that's not the case. Minecraft is like your one first true love. You're gonna love them no matter what. I will always make Minecraft videos so you don't got to worry. As a gamer, it's just nice to explore other avenues from time to time. With that being said, if you are buying Hytale, please make sure you use the code ECHO. I appreciate your support. On the other hand, Minecraft have released some technical snapshots, betas, and previews this week. And that's what I want to go through. I imagine the reason why we haven't had any major new introductions this week is because last week, Minecraft changed the baby animals in the game. And I think they're taking feedback from the community. Something I've seen a lot on is that people don't like the eyes of the baby mobs. They feel slightly soulless compared to the adult version. Anyway, let's get into these latest t changes because a very big change this week is Minecraft have updated the editor modes for Minecraft Bedrock, which is practically world edit for this version. This is the Minecraft beta and preview version 26.0.28. Remember, the updates will now be based on the year it releases. Features and bug fixes, starting with gameplay. Fixed a rare crash when trying to breathe animals. There was no bug report. Changes with realms. Fixed a freeze that could happen when buying a realm on Nintendo Switch. I'm pretty sure this was actually pushed towards the full release but I could be wrong. Moving on to sound changes. Players can now hear the Nautilus riding sound at 16 blocks distance, and the sound volume is now lower. User interface. Fixed a bug where global resource packs did not apply after leaving the setting screen. We have a bug report. Global resource packs failed to load or apply in the latest preview. Now this user did actually provide a video for us here. If you were to apply this to your game, it simply did not apply. Now, I had this exact problem because as this user is currently using, I also use the preview hider, which is why on the top of my screen, you don't see any of the preview text. The saying it's been fixed this week. Also fixed a bug where the social setting screen soft locks the game upon drop down selection. We have a bug report. And in case you're not aware of this, this can be accessed when you pause your game and tap on the social on top right. But from my experience, when it comes to the social aspect, this section is incredibly laggy. Am I the only person who has this problem? Let me know in the comments. This is the bug report that they have reported. I actually had this issue myself. Go back a couple of weeks ago. It's actually taken them a couple of weeks to actually fix this. These become invisible. You can't invite everyone or anyone and you have to restart your game. The saying this week, it's been fixed. Moving on to settings. Our settings have been rebuilt using all UI and we are getting ready to ship these changes. So this is actually quite big for Minecraft Bedrock. And before we read this, let me explain what this is. So you may have noticed that Minecraft is starting to look like this. The name of this internally is called All UI. They've changed absolutely everything down to the buttons, down to the world screen, down to your loading screens. Everything is starting to change. And they're now saying it's going to be shipped to all people in the next update. The changes include some settings are still in the JSON UI and will be converted at a later stage. It says, while most of our work is just visual, we are making some smaller changes. For example, keybinds for macros and coordinates are now shown by default for all supported platforms under the keyboard and mouse settings tab. And they're actually looking for feedback regarding this. So yeah, everything you're starting to see down to like the social aspects. When you tap on this, the menu's like this. Or if you were to go into, it's so laggy. If you go into your settings, I don't have the new one there actually. Do I have the new video settings then in this one? No. Okay, so some of it's not actually been transferred in this version. But again, it is starting to be updated. I'm pretty sure this has. Yeah, so all of these are starting to be uh, shipped to everyone 
Moving on to changes with worlds. They fixed an issue where worlds in the shared folder could not be duplicated or exported. We have a bug report. Here is the bug report. If we scroll down here, we do actually have a video. If we play this, you couldn't actually export it at all. That's been resolved. Moving on to the technical updates, starting with blocks. Custom blocks intersecting with other blocks will have a better ambient occlusion. Editor mode. This is pretty big for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It says, added chunk management panel for world menu for regenerating or deleting chunks. Adds a dynamic limit for selection volumes that limits the volume to 1 million blocks. This allows for non-cube rectangular volumes larger than the previous 100 by 100 by 100 cube limit. A larger cube limit is still present at 1024, 1024, 1024. All of these have been introduced. A very big change as well added a cinematic tool for creating camera paths. Now, I'm going to show you guys some footage from Smoky Stacks. But for those of you, again, not familiar with editor mode, let me show you what that tool actually is. So again, to access this, you do need to be on a PC. It's not available on mobile platforms or console. You need to tap on Minecraft Bedrock and we have the creator tools and you're able to launch a different version, which does give you a lot more power. This is what it looks like when you boot it up. No special main menu screen. And if you create a brand new project, it obviously puts you in this. I'm going to very quickly create a project and show you what it's like in game. But again, this is just an in-house Minecraft Bedrock Edition tool. And the reason why they created this is because a lot of the maps that you used to see on Minecraft Bedrock Edition were actually created on Minecraft Java using world edits and ported to Bedrock. I'm guessing Mojang and Microsoft did not like that, and they wanted to keep it all in-house. Well, let's just show a couple of things here, and let's just create this. So again, guys, I'm going to be incredibly rusty. I actually don't have much knowledge of this tool. <laughs> but it does put you in a brand new tutorial mode, at least. Uh, but apparently, it's something to do over this side which is all related to the brand new cinematic. But this is a fantastic tool. If you did ever want to get into like map making or start to learn about like how to do cinematics, this is certainly going to be the tool for it. Let me see if I can just very briefly locate it. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure down here on the left hand side, I'm supposed to have a different tool or access to a different tool. Uh, I can very clearly see I don't quite have access to that, but... Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that the editor tool apparently has been updated. I just don't seem to have the latest version. Uh, but it's a really fun thing to mess around with, honestly. It just goes to show you what you can potentially do in Minecraft. Like, down to every single minute detail. This is really good for building custom maps. I think the creators who made the Echo Hub, I'm pretty confident they also use something like this. So this one right here is actually pretty cool. I'm able to add... Certain crops. I'm going to add a pig. I'm going to make this a little bit further down here. About to add these. Here we go. <laughs> oh, wait, is there pigs? There is pigs. There you go. And it's meant to add crops as well. We'll add some beetroots over there. Is there a way to change which actual one we are using though? Because I'm just using a regular farm, right? Is there a way to change it? I would get super into this. Super addicted. I don't know what this is either. This is... <laughs> There's so many different tools for me to press. What's this one? This one right here. Am I am I building? Are we, are we doing it? Oh. Oh, we're smoothing it out. Oh, how useful this would be for my add-on videos. All credit goes to Smoky Stacks here. I'll leave the links down below so you can check them out. Now you can see some gameplay from someone who actually knows exactly what they're doing. This is just going to be awesome for cinematic base creations, in add-ons, in worlds, and a whole bunch of things going forward. We're just creating a couple of custom points here. And basically, on the final points, you're able to play it. Again, you ever seen those, like, replay add-ons? It's basically what this is, but built into Minecraft. We're going to see the actual scene here. So this is what it's going to be like. Very impressed. I've messed around with a lot of cinematic-based add-ons. The fact that Minecraft have built this in-house 
is brilliant news. And this one right here is apparently Minecraft's new chunk manager. Just giving technical players a little bit more control over what they're actually able to do. You're also able to undo all of this, I believe. Regenerate on the right hand side. Confirm. So it goes back to normal there. There you go. Perfect. So yeah, two new custom tools for the editor mode. The other changes are to graphical fixed attachables not rendering correctly when the game is paused or when rendered in the NPC UI window. Experimental technical updates. Let's read the change log. So these are the changes that they have actually made. And this is your whole entire beta and preview. Not a very big one this week. So I am expecting some exciting things next week from Minecraft. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to hit that like button. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in the next.